Hey there, future tycoons. Welcome to the ultimate guide on how to transform your store into a five-star haven in Retail Tycoon 2. If you're looking to boost your customer count, increase your sales, and get your ratings up, you've come to the right place. Let's dive in. Now, first things first, it's going to be a decoration. And to see what your ratings are individually, if you click on Manage Store, it's going to show all the little ratings down here. Decoration, shelter, queue size, crowdedness, cleanliness. And then something else coming soon. I don't know. We're not going to worry about it. Now for the first one, decoration. It's like setting the ambience. What is it? It's the aesthetic appeal of your store. Think of it as the first impression customers get when they walk in, and the area around them, they'll also change the rating based on that. So if you have a part of the store that's really bad looking, it's in the red, they walk into it, you're gonna get negative rating. But if it's really green, they walk into it, you're gonna have a good rating, five stars. There's actually a way to see what your decoration is. If you click up on the build menu, on the right side, there's this little potted plant. On that, you can see what your ratings are by the tile. So mine is really red. So the decoration tab and some tips I can give you is that fountains are a quick way to elevate your store's look. Just one can drastically improve your ratings. Hanging plants are really good for filling in gaps because they just are their place on the roof. It doesn't block where customers go and it can keep your crowdness ratings going up because decorations that are placed on the floor, customers tend to walk around and they can cluster up. So hanging plants are really good. Flooring, you can even add decoration to your floor with certain tiles. Upgrade from concrete to more appealing options like carpet, wood, stone, and premium stone. Premium stone will give you the most with the 10 plus decoration. And besides that, another tip I could give is for your storage areas. Keep them out of sight, out of mind. Customers don't like to see them, they don't like to focus on them. Keep them out. They give a bad rating. Now, second we have is crowdness. Ensuring a smooth customer flow. If there's too many people in a small area, they're not going to like it. So, what is it? How easily a customer can navigate through your store without bumping into each other or obstacles. Tips for this would be to have open areas, maintain at least two square open spaces throughout the store. And then bigger stores might need three when you go into the more like grocery shopping with all the fruits, vegetables, and cans and all that, because there's a lot of customers with that, but that's if you have the parking spaces. Otherwise, just try to keep at least two. Another way you can do is multiple entrances. If you just have a single door entrance for everybody, it's going to have a negative impact on it. Another way to direct traffic between floors is using one-way staircases. You can have an up staircase all the way to the right, a down staircase all the way to the left, and so that they're not both going up and down the same spot, at least splits them up in half. So one way you can check for your crowdness is if you go on the build menu again, and on the right side there's going to be this icon of three people walking, that you can see here. So red, really bad. Yellow, orange, it's getting bad. Green is perfectly fine. So I just put a bunch of parking spots down, the station, the tram. Now you can see it's really, really red where all these people are walking in inside the store. So one way we can do to improve that is just to increase the size of the store. And one more way that you can decrease your crowdness is by going to your shelving, whatever you're selling, and then just adding more places for people to buy it from. So they're not all in just one spot trying to get the same thing. Now if we go to check crowdness, it's not nearly as yellow. It's gone up quite a bit. Crowdness, it's nearly a five star, so that's pretty good. Just as long as it's not orange, red, some yellow is fine. That's always going to happen. It's always there. You're just going to have people. It's always going to be a little bit, you know, there's traffic somewhere. And number three is going to be providing comfort. What is it? Well, it's ensuring that your store is well enclosed, protected from the external and elements. Tips for these are going to make sure you have ceilings and walls. You can even get a glass roof if you want to have an opening. Just don't leave an empty space. So when you go to check your ratings and your shelter's low, just check around the walls. See on the roof, there's a hole missing. Fill that up. And then we're going to look for the wall. Oh, there's a hole. Just fill that up. And then your ratings will go back up for shelter. Alright, number four is going to be cleanliness. Maintain a pristine environment. What is this? It's keeping your store clean and free from litter. Tips for this is going to have garbage cans, janitors, and dumpsters. Garbage cans, you can place them strategically to cover the entire store. Remember, a clean store is a happy store, and you could check that by going on the build menu. And then on the right side, if you click on the little broom, the green area is where trash can be picked up from the trash cans, and if it's left black, then the trash can be on the floor. You don't want that. Try to cover it as most as you can with green. Now, the trash cans are going to be in amenities, and then on the second one there, there's trash cans. You can filter through different looks, but the doll does the same thing. Janitors, if you click up on workers and janitors here, you can hire one for $100 and they cost 20 a minute. They'll go ahead and automatically collect from trash bins and mop on the floor if there's any trash built. 
after they pick up a certain amount of trash, they'll go over to the dumpster and put the trash away and have to come back. So make sure they have access to the dumpsters. Those are over an infant structure, and right here, the green trash bin. That's the dumpster. All right, now, and the last we have here is Q-Size. It's the efficient checkout process. What is this? It's ensuring customers can check out as quickly as possible without long wait lines. Some tips for this is by using self-checkout. It's ideal for AFK purposes. It uses less maintenance. You can just have them out. Don't have to worry about paying workers. They'll check out. It's a little bit slower, but you don't have to pay a cashier. Besides that, there's the checkout registers. They're faster, more efficient, especially with the leveled up cashier. However, they come at a cost which will eat from your money over time. If you get a lot of them, you might as well just have self-checkouts. This works for queue size as well as it does crowdedness. Whatever product you're selling, there's a certain amount of cars that can spawn at a certain rate for that product. Something like groceries where you have all tons of fruits and vegetables, canned goods and all that. You can have up to nearly 40 cars. It might be 35 cars if I'm not mistaken. But if you're selling something like jewelry, it really goes down to about 12 cars. So that's a big difference. Well, something like this is a pretty bad example of your queue size being zero stars. The line is massive. It even curves around here. It's going to go around the whole store. So one way you could speed that up is you can either get more self-checkouts or if you want to check out that's faster, you go to customer service, checkout register, and then move this outside, checkout register, and this thing moves pretty fast. Besides that, you can also get another checkout register put it out here. If you hire yourself a cashier, you can hire a new one for $200 or $20 a minute. I already have one, so I'm just going to play her back in. She'll go in there. If you don't want to hire a cashier, you can even stand in one on your by yourself and it'll activate it. But since I have a cashier, it'll be active anyways. In case your queue line is stuck, even though you placed more, you can delete your register, place it back, and they'll split up evenly to whatever is left. Achieving a 5-star rating might seem daunting, but with the right strategies and a bit of creativity, you can get there in no time. Remember, it's all about enhancing the customer's experience. Now, go out there and create the store of your dreams. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Until next time, happy building, keep going, have fun. See you next time.